what's good youtube it's your girl miss golden 83 and i am here to do a word from the ancestor reading for the sign of pisces pisces was good okay hope y'all are doing well remember you guys these are general messages not personal so take what resonates and pass the rest to the next okay um i've been messing with this day going bonnet all damn day um but y'all see the girl y'all see the girl's edges right there this girl got edges okay so let me focus on y'all i'm gonna try and get y'all done as soon as possible aries um was quite long these are a little bit more extended i mean i'm trying to keep them short but this week's energy is like heavy okay heavy the lightest energy of them all is aquarius ain't trying to you know shit on y'all but i'm just saying okay um so pisces if y'all are not familiar with the word from the ancestors we are using the urban tarot everyday tarot for clarifying um and then the ancestors uh ancestor cards and then messages from your angels for additional messages of support we are only pulling three cards of each energetic energetically top bottom and middle okay so um let's see what's going on with y'all i'm not going to turn them over just yet but i'm just going to place these down we are not looking at the bottom of the deck so we can at least try and wrap these up as soon as possible okay um but like i said the energy has been really deep this week okay especially today aries starting off with the word from the ancestors theirs was pretty heavy okay but hopefully y'all can kind of get a message basically checking on the energy throughout each day um how your energy is shifting okay so let's see what's going on with the urban tarot <sighs> yes 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 okay the trade was it Now it was your heart's desire reading, okay? Definitely, if you haven't checked it out already, Pisces, go on IG, uh, Golden Abstracts, and look at your heart's desire reading, okay? I did you guys on Wednesday, okay? Um, Urban Tarot, we have death here, okay, death. We have Queen of Cups the therapist okay and we have the high priestess here okay major arcanas um two major arcanas uh death and the high priestess showing up for you pisces straight up i'm not even going to lie to you here y'all need to change y'all need a change okay what's been going on with you this week um or recently is really messing with your mental and messing with your health okay you need some form of transformation death is not literal death um but it's talking about a transition some form of change okay However, you could be experiencing some health issues, okay, due to the amount of stress and overworking um, that you've been doing, okay? Um, but mentally, I feel like there, there's something there because with the Queen of Cups, we do, um, that's usually someone here, it's the therapist. So um, definitely, like I've suggested, even in your um, self-care message on Thursday um, that therapy is very helpful I myself do therapy have been doing it for about a year and a half um, and it has definitely brought balance into my life um, we fall by the wayside sometimes and we are you know um, that's that human experience that we have of falling by the wayside um, sometimes but it's always good to have someone available to help pick you back up um, you also are probably seeking some spiritual guidance as well, um, possibly through Tarot. Um, 
if you're here watching me and I resonate with you, welcome, okay? Um, and thank you for your support. Um, but I am here to support you at this time, okay? Um, you've got to make a change. You have to make a change um, dramatically, okay? There are still some internal issues that you are dealing with um, that need to be resolved, okay? Um, you're stressing yourself out, which is not conducive to your health, okay? Um, if you're finding yourself on medications, um, not just for, you know, like high blood pressure or cholesterol or things like that, but in reference to your mental health, like having to take things um, to keep you kind of docile or numb and you aren't it doesn't feel like you're the type to normally do that you don't like uh, to deal with modern medicine um, but you're headed on that path if you don't make some type of change if you want to make more of a spiritual change and you got to start doing more research getting into your meditations a lot more um, your affirmations things of that nature and again therapy, therapy, therapy. Removing yourself from toxic environments or situations is going to be what is better suited for you, okay? So let's get into the clarifiers here because I don't want to hold you guys for too long. We're pulling one from the top, one from the bottom, and one energetically from the middle. There is a transition, a new passionate beginning with the Ace of Wands clarifying the death card here, okay? You are finally going to awaken or have awakened to the fact that you can't keep doing the same things you've been doing um, in your life, cutting things out um, as necessary, okay, to create this new um passionate new beginning, this new life, okay? You have a lot to look forward to, okay? And you know what needs to be removed is what I'm hearing, okay? The therapist is being clarified by the Ace of Cups, okay? Let it out. Let out all of that frustration. Um, you know, to your therapist, you have some really deep-rooted emotions here, okay? Um, you could be sharing uh, those emotions with someone that you love, some things that they don't know about you, okay? Um, this could be your counterpart. It doesn't have to be naturally a therapist that you're talking to here with this Queen of Cups. It could be someone who's very mature. Your your counterpart could be very mature um, and feel therapeutic to you um, and is, like I said, very mature. Um, they share their emotions um, and I feel like you will be returning the favor as well. Um, emotions of gratitude, um, of appreciation, um, of acknowledgement of them being there with you and sticking by your side through thick and thin, okay? Um, so that's coming through for some of you as well, okay? Lastly, we have the High Priestess with the full card here, okay? Talking about new beginnings, okay? Starting a new, okay? Like I said, um, before some of you may be spiritual and do spiritual practices, okay? Um, and maybe taking a leap of faith towards that type of lifestyle, okay? Um, 
others of you, you're using your intuition um, to guide you towards this new beginning that you want to have. Um, something you've possibly foreseen for a long period of time um, is finally coming to fruition. And so you're trusting your intuition and you're going with the flow. Okay. Very beautiful. And I think that's what your ancestors would want you to do. Okay. Very beautiful energy. Even while we're reading now, this is what I like to see is where we start off with a general message that may start off a little hazy, not so much hazy, but you know, um, like a warning sign, if you will. Um, and then coming in with the clarifiers with, nope, this is what we going to do. Okay, so it's almost like within the reading, the energy changed. Okay, so when you're seeing this, Pisces, maybe you had that epiphany moment of um, needing to make the change, change is necessary, um, and you've shifted the course of, of this reading. Okay, just energetically. Okay, beautiful. I love, I love to see that. So let's get into your ancestor message ancestor messages okay um i think i want this card right here okay so let's see what your ancestors have to say all right so we have enjoy music okay instruments sound tone back to basics okay simplify reduce and center remember who you are okay which is one of my favorite cards when it does come out okay culture resilience and beliefs okay this ties into your reading amazingly, okay, um, Pisces. Enjoy music. Um, you may have um, this innate ability to really have a good taste in music, okay, or you could be musical yourself, okay? So maybe you enjoy um, playing an instrument or you may want to play an instrument, Um listen to the sounds and tones of instrumental music um it could be very soothing to you maybe something you enjoyed in a past life as well um or uh, participated in in a in a past life okay um back to basics um simplify reduce and center okay like i said sharing of emotions really showing appreciation and gratitude um for where you are now and just opening up um, you're returning back to basics and maybe in a sense of your relationship, going back to um, that softness, because like I said, in your, in your intimacy reading, you were taking on this very domineering energy, which was very weird to, uh, to me in a sense where it didn't felt, it didn't feel like it was your vibe at all. It was just your frustration your frustrations coming to the surface and so i feel like your person um felt this coming from you and missed the old you the the version of you that that's usually softer gentler um easy and able to um communicate your emotions and so right now you're kind of like going back to basics with your relationship and kind of making up for that if you if you will that dark night of the soul vibe um where you're just in this very dark inner you were in this dark energy but now there's light and love showing and you're going back to the basics of uh, your relationship of what made it what it was to begin with. Very loving, very nurturing, um, very caring um, energy and realizing that your person is your partner, not your enemy. Okay. Um, lastly, we have remember who you are again. Um, I feel like and that's under the high priestess and the fool. Um, 
the the motto or the the homework of this week's ancestor readings is past life regression okay remember who you are culture resilience and beliefs okay um i believe you are very spiritual pisces um 1515 as we get into your reading okay um you're not really religious you're more spiritual you um believe in energies you believe you believe in reincarnation um you believe in spirits and um angels and the divine and divine timing um law of attraction things of that nature okay and so you are very resilient you are very strong um you're very cultured as well you don't just participate in one um belief system you experience or embrace all cultures okay so you are very cultural in that sense okay and so you're very well rounded um some people may not think you are or you portray yourself not to be um in fear of someone being you know a little bit more knowledgeable than you but you don't have to be okay knowledge is is gained you know through throughout every day okay um you learn something new every day and you're one that is very inquisitive um in learning new things so you're very resilient in that sense of your knowledge um and what you know um own that be that person who you are don't um sit up here and try to put on a facade for other people um because at the end of the day you have to live with you um, your person has to live with you. Um, they don't. Okay. So be you at all costs. Okay. So let's get your last messages of support here. So let me flip all of these over. We have patience, patience. Patience and normal tarot is temperance. Y'all have gotten temperance this week, okay? But it says patience. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future, you will synthesize your knowledge into action, okay? So we have that over music. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be teaching music to anyone or anything like that. But just like I was saying, you're very resilient when it comes to um, the things that you know, um, knowledge, you know, really reaching out for knowledge, being very cultural, things of that nature. Whatever it is you are currently working on or studying at this time is going to be very lucrative for you in the future. Okay, and you are going to have to utilize that information, you know, in the near future. So make sure you're writing things down, studying, learning all that you can because it is going to benefit you in the long run. Okay, next one is Indriel. Indriel. Okay, and it says, You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants, okay? So if you are feeling like you don't fit in where you are and you're ready to embark on your own or you're more of a loner, um, things of that nature, that means, you know, those are just some of the characteristics of a light worker, okay? Um, if you're very introverted, um, and you need a lot of downtime in between um, networking and communicating with others. Um, those are some characteristics of a light worker, okay? Um, and, you know, if you feel the emotions of others and believe in transferring of energies, you are a light worker. The frustrations you've been having are probably not even your own frustrations they could be the frustrations of someone else someone else's energy um invading your space so i would definitely suggest that you sage um your your space meditate clear out that energy as quickly as you possibly can don't sit in it um 
get some white sage open up your windows sage throughout your entire house sage your body um, take a spiritual bath or shower um, as we see in the high priestess here um, and put on um, a light meditation um, to just help cleanse and re uh, center your body as much as possible okay lastly we have Desiree Desiree your last message of support here Pisces no conditions aren't fav favorable right now wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you okay so right now may not be the best time for you to um, take a leap of faith um, look at everything clearly before you make that final choice and decision okay um, not that it's not going to be favorable it's just you still have some work to do okay you still have some work to do doesn't mean that there's not a new beginning for you um, but just wait and look for other options, okay? And ask your angels for help. Guide, to help guide and comfort you, okay? They will show you when the right time is, okay? Pay attention to those synchronicities and coincidences. Um, there are none. There are no coincidences. If something doesn't feel right, use your intuition and um, use your discernment and make moves when you need to make moves, okay, when it's the right time to, okay? That's all I have for you guys, Pisces. I hope you got a message out of this. Um, if it resonated with one, that's all I need, okay? Um, until then, I'll see you guys on Saturday for your tap into the soul and like i said check out your heart's desire reading on ig under golden abstracts um and see how that vibes with your energy this week until next time peace pisces